Okay, so you pull up contact on your favorite DAW, you cue up your favorite instrument, you hit a key on your keyboard, and nothing happens. This is when you try all the normal troubleshooting techniques. You check the volume on your interface and on your mixer, you turn your keyboard on and off, you restart your DAW, you restart your computer, you test the keyboard inside of contact, you hear that that's working, but your physical keyboard is not, and frustration and doom and despair set in. So you hop on Google and you start looking for answers. One of the first troubleshooting techniques that they tell you is to open up the settings menu inside contact and look for the MIDI tab. Inside of that tab, there'll be options for inputs and you can look for your keyboard. Okay, cool, but that option isn't there. Why isn't it there? Oh, because it's only available in the standalone contact application. Why is it only available in the standalone contact application? So you launch the standalone application, you find the MIDI tab, you look at the inputs, and you see that your keyboard isn't selected. And I think, yes, this is the answer. I select my keyboard, I hit a key, nothing happens. Out of sheer desperation, I restart the application, restart my computer, still nothing. But I pretend I'm a savvy audio guy, I click on MIDI outputs. Maybe I need to select my interface, which doesn't really make sense because in my DAW, that's already taken care of, but I'm desperate, so I try it, and of course, still nothing. And now the frustration is building. I still recommend you try all these steps because you never know, it might work for you. This is all troubleshooting. And then you hear about this Omni option. Instead of port A1, you click on Omni, and then all of a sudden, you're hearing sounds. And this might be enough for most people. You think, hey, it works, I'm gonna close this video, I'm gonna walk away, easy peasy. But I just can't because I know what I'm supposed to use Omni for. This is not the setting that it should work on. Port A1 should work. I can't let it go. It's just the way my brain is. I have to figure out why this isn't working. Side note, Omni is great for when you wanna drag in multiple instruments inside of your contact window and build your own awesome mega instrument out of your favorite VSTs. You set all these to Omni and then when you play your keyboard, they all play at the same time. So you can stack piano with strings or synth or even percussion, bass whatever you want to do it's pretty great but back to the task at hand so I'm at peak frustration at this point nothing's working I can't figure it out but then I take a look at my keyboard and a hypothesis starts to build in my head I notice that my keyboard has a lot of things on it it's got encoders faders triggers mod wheels octave plus and minus buttons and it even has these extra buttons on here shift edit auto select that affects things on the LCD screen and then even the keys themselves they've got little labels above them panic program, data one, channel assign. So I thought to myself, what are the chances that one day I was reaching for the octave button, but I accidentally hit like some sort of programming button and then hit a key and I threw my keyboard out of whack. I never go under the hood of my keyboard. I don't mess with that stuff. I don't need it to do anything. So I Google how to factory reset my M-Audio Oxygen MIDI keyboard. If you have a keyboard with lots of program features, I'm sure it's as easy as one Google for you as well. For this keyboard, it's very simple. You power it off. You hold down octave plus and minus at the same time, you power it back on and it's factory reset. And once I did that, suddenly port A1 in contact works. So when all else fails, give that a shot. That's my final troubleshooting technique is to factory reset your keyboard because you might've thrown something out of whack. That worked for me. Hopefully this worked for you and one of these troubleshooting steps is exactly what you needed to get your keyboard working with contact again. Please give me a like if it did. If you have any more troubleshooting techniques and tips and tricks that you can give us, please put it in the comments below and I'll see you next time.